Hello everyone. I am super excited to be here with you today and we are going to talk about one of my favorite subjects. We're going to talk about leadership. And I know some of you watching this, when you hear the word leadership, you think, all right, yes, I am a leader. And I know that many of you watching this, you think, I don't know if I'm a leader. I'm not really that one to jump out front and shout out orders or give directives. And I just want to tell you that John Maxwell says that leadership is influence, nothing more, nothing less. And this I know, that every single one of you that are watching this video right now, you have influence on someone in your life. Now, it might be your brother or sister, and it, it probably is your mom or dad, but you also have influence on those that you go to school with maybe those on your dance team or your basketball team, but you have influence on people's lives. And I can tell you the, the first time I can really remember influence showing up in my life. I was 14 years old and I, I was going to my, my first party after a football game. And while we were there, there were, uh, who knows, a couple of hundred kids standing around talking in, in different groups. And one group was very noticeable. They came and they, they went off on their own. And a senior on our basketball team came up to me and she said, Bridget, she said, you don't go over to that group and you don't do what they do. That's not for you. And at the time, I, I didn't even really understand what she was saying, but what she said sank in. And for my entire high school career, I didn't do what that group did. And I didn't hang out with the people in that group. And every single one of you are going to make choices every day. And either you're going to influence those around you in a good and positive way, or you're going to influence those around you in a negative way. But, but either way, you will be an influencer. Thus, you are a leader. Now, I can also remember my, my junior year. We were at basketball camp and, and a group of us on the team didn't necessarily have the best attitude. We were actually mad at our coach at the time. And when the game finished up and we were all jumping in the, the car to go back to the, the barracks or the, the place that we were staying, my coach said, Bridget, I want you to ride up front with me this time. And so as everybody else piled in the back of the van, I was up front with the coach. And he said, the attitude that you have right now is overflowing to the rest of the team. And as you go, so will this team. You have a choice. You decide what this season is going to look like. And if you'll change your attitude, I guarantee you, the rest of the team will too. And that was the first time that I really became aware of what my impact or my influence was on others. Now, we'll, we'll talk about a few things here today. First one, why would you want to grow in your leadership? Why would you want to study leadership? Well, one of the things is, is it'll make you more effective. It will increase your impact and, and allow you to put more good out into the world and to influence others in a, in a great and in a positive way. Now, how do we grow as a leader? I'm going to walk you through four different stages of how we grow. And, and for me, so many times, it's going to be a sports analogy that I can relate this back to. So if you're, if you're not into sports, just bear with me. I think you'll still be able to, to follow the analogy. So I want you to imagine for a moment that somebody recruited you to come on to the soccer field and play in a soccer game with them and that you had never played soccer before. And so they kick the ball off and the game is underway and all of a sudden the ball is passed to you and there, there's no one between you and the goal. And you start running, you think this is my big moment, I'm going to score a goal. And then the ref blows the whistle and he tells you you were offsides. And you think, offsides? I don't even know what offsides is. I thought that was in hockey, right? <laughs> And he tells you what, what the problem was and why you were off offside, offsides. And, and you go from stage number one, which is you don't know what you don't know. You didn't even know there was an offsides in soccer, right? To stage number two of you know what you don't know. You, you're discovering you've found something out that you don't know. 
And as the game goes on, you see someone, the ball gets kicked out of bounds and you see someone go over and pick up the ball and they stand on the sidelines and they, they throw the ball in, but they lift up their back foot. And once again, the referee blows the whistle and you think, oh my, I'm about to learn again, right? And, and he tells you that you have to keep both feet on the ground when you throw the ball in in soccer. And this is what happens. You start to grow and you start to know more. And the next time you go over and the ball goes out of bounds and you pick it up and you, you both hands behind your head, right? And you drag that back toe and you do a perfect throw in. And so you've grown and you know, and now it starts to show. So phase one, phase one is I don't know what I don't know, right? Phase two is I know what I don't know. Phase three is I grow, I know, and it starts to show. And phase four is I simply know and go, right? I simply go and know. This is when you're watching your line, you're making sure that you're not offside. You run over and pick up the ball, and both feet together and boom, and the team is off and running. And you have learned all the different elements of the game. And at this point, it is second nature for you to run around the field and follow the rules and not get in trouble, and, right? And so those are the different phases and that same thing can apply to your leadership journey. But what will happen is this will not happen in a day, right? Growth doesn't happen in a day. It happens daily, as John would say. And your success will be determined by your daily agenda. I will never forget when John, gosh, this was many years ago. And I sat listening to John speak from a stage. And he said, I could tell you how successful you're going to be if I was able to walk around with you for one day. Just give me one day of your life, and as I follow you around, I can tell what the success level is going to be in your life. Why? Because success is determined by your daily agenda. Your greatest athletes, how many of you guys know Michael Jordan, right? Well, the same coach trained Michael Jordan that trained the late Kobe Bryant. And these individuals that many people will tell you that Michael Jordan was not the most talented basketball player to ever live. While they'll still say he was the best basketball player that ever lived. And why? Because he would outwork every other player on the court. His daily agenda, his championships weren't, weren't won in the NBA championship. His championships were won in the day in, day out discipline and practice of what he does. So I, I want you to ask yourself, think of different scenarios in your life. Where are you? I don't know what I don't know. I know what I don't know. I grow and I know and it starts to show. Or I simply go because of what I know. Where are you in that process in different areas of your life? Where are you in that process in your leadership? Are you daily making decisions to grow your leadership? Like you are right here by watching this video. This is an opportunity for you to grow in your influence and in your leadership. So as you look at those different areas of your life and you think, where am I in the growth journey? I also want you to think about who are you influencing? How are your actions impacting other people's lives? The fact that I can point back to when I was 14 years old and say, yes, that person had a positive impact on my life. Can others do that for you? You have an opportunity every single day to make an impact and to influence others for the positive. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I can't wait to jump into the next two sessions with you. And we look forward to you being the incredible leaders of our future.